So I'm here uh, this for, for two weeks with uh, our partners at um, University of KwaZulu-Natal um, and African Conservation Trust. I'm working with them to do some scanning as part of our partnership to develop a technology center here in South Africa, uh, eventually a, a chapter, SIARC South Africa, as, as part of this relationship. Um, and what we're doing is I have this uh, shallow petroglyph, so I'm sort of over helping oversee some of the data capture there. Uh, we're hoping that uh, this, this data set will actually create the first baseline documentation data set for management and conservation here. I'm Cole Grossman, I'm the Chairman of the African Conservation Trust and I also work at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in the program of Geomatics Land Surveying. Alright, we're making the first attempt here to scan petroglyphs, very faint petroglyphs in the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Uh, we're using uh, the C10, Leica C10 scanner as well as the Faro scanner. Well, we're hoping to better identify the actual petroglyphs themselves in the rock because they're very faint. We're hoping to get that out of the, the scan data. Uh, we're also going to be attempting some infrared photography to see how that works out, as well as overlaying the high res imagery as well over the scans. Um, and hopefully, we can even try some hydrological analysis uh, because water does seem to flow through the site uh, so maybe we can get that out of the scan data as well. So here we are on the site of the actual uh, largest panel of petroglyphs so um, if you just look out this way you can see various uh, geometric shapes or sort of concentric circles. Um, right over here we have uh, some of these patterns uh, these concentric circles with some lines um, along over here as well. And you can see where, where the sandstone is now uh, sort of exfoliating and breaking off in these layers because, of course, sandstone is a sedimentary uh, stone, so it's naturally layered. Um, and you can actually see where a few, a few centimeters now um, across a large chunk of this site uh, has, has come off. We can actually see if I step up just over here, again, you can see what would have been something uh, a contemporary surface with this surface here um, and again this whole chunk that I'm standing in uh, is now gone um, and this could have uh, easily gone um, from here all the way up I mean you can kind of see this is probably again about the same surface as over there just based on you know visual cues of, of the amount of uh, layering that has come down um, so how much rock art would have actually been here we obviously don't know, but uh, possibly considerably more than what's left today.